Dennis Brown. that John's not part of the show anymore. And you know what? That'll be happy. Krug will be happy. John will be happy. So that'll be a good thing. <laughs> uh, what do you guys want to see? I want to see a center. I want to see a center. Stop it. I do. They, they, they have a center now. They, they brought in a uh, all-decade center now. So. Yeah, you know why he's all-decade? Because he's decades old. That's wow. why. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I wow. mean, I like Alex I Mack, guess but he, he won't be on any shows anytime soon. No, no. Okay, he did it. He went, he went to Cal. He can laugh a little bit, I think. And if not, I'll just say, look at the basketball scores when we were there. Oh, wow. wow. No, I think he, they're going to need someone. You can't just, because they have Alex Mack, they need a center. I think they do need a center. And I think they need a center uh, maybe the, the following year, or at least three years from now, I would think. So... I'm gonna go center. Okay, I'll I'll make it uh, I'll make it on the offensive line. How about that? Yeah, I'll take me off take me off the hook. Uh, <laughs> even though I'd like to see a center. Uh, offensive line, cornerback. I'll yeah. go. Yeah, I think wide receiver. I like wide receiver. I like what Tim said. I just think, man, wide receivers you can find all over the place, and they. Right. They already got two stud wide receivers, so he doesn't have to be like a stud. If he is, that's great. But I think you can put somebody next to those two guys and Kittle, and if they're if they're decent, they're going to look really good. So I think you can maybe get that guy in the fourth round, fifth round. So I'll go offensive line and cornerback uh, tonight. Yeah, and, and I, I like cornerback. I think you, you have to kind of, you know, get some depth. I mean, when you have these later rounds, you got to kind of work on your depth, try to a little bit, get some depth on your team. I like uh, I like a cornerback, and I also like a slot receiver. That's what the 49ers yeah. need. You need a little quick slot receiver that, you know, nice little check down. You know, somebody like a Dante Pettis was supposed to be that quick off the line, get some separation. Uh, and I think, you know, that is what those are two areas that this team, you're going to see later in the, in the draft, this team kind of work with that cornerback position. And I love this kid from, you know, uh, Asante Samuel Jr. I like yeah. this kid from Florida State. I think he'll still be around uh, 43rd. I think that's 43rd pick or something like that. I like him, and I, I do like a little shifty uh, slot receiver. Yeah, the Niners picking at uh, number 43 in the second round, 102 in the third round. It is amazing that in the, the era of the, the shifty, uncoverable uh, slot wide receiver, uncoverable because they go across the middle, and now you can't hammer them like you used to be able to uh, back in the day, so they just have all the space to operate. The Niners have not had that guy. Yeah. So I'm I'm with you, Dennis. I don't I don't know if they get him here today, but it would be nice if they got that guy and he was able to to be around for a few years. Yeah. I'm gonna go wide receiver, somebody a little bit bigger, somebody a little bit rangier, somebody a little bit faster to, to be sort of the, the opposite mm-hmm. compliment if there is such a thing as an opposite compliment to to Debo Samuel and uh, Brandon Ayuk. And maybe not today, maybe at some point this weekend. Give me an edge rusher that this old dirty bastard just raw, and and that guy that they can mold into somebody being that uh, that other guy on the other side, complimentary uh, to uh, to Bosa. It'd be it'd be real nice if they just had some guy who just go. We don't know how good he's going to be, but if man, if he gets good, it's going to be a guy we'll talk about for a while. All right, let's uh, send it off to Johnny Lund and Larry Kruger. Thank our guest Tim Ryan. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you, Ogden. Thank you, Tim. Appreciate it. Boys, 
Dennis, it was great being with you for a couple of days. Yeah, Have a Dennis, great weekend, yeah, man. man. Uh, thanks for having me. And if I see you guys on the street, acknowledge me. Don't be having me yelling your name, trying to get a hello out to you, all right? Yeah, I've seen what? you on the that, street. That was a joke. I've, that was... I've never seen you on the street. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> right? Show. Who this? Oh, no, come on, T. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, uh. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get ready for... Let's thank you guys, John Merrick, for coming on by from... All go to park, get ready for mass giants from New York City. The world trip continues. All right, <laughs> welcome back. Welcome to the very ass for a second. Do you remember this? This is the NFL draft first round last night, and now round two of the 2020 round for drafts. Okay, let's take a look. All right, this weekend matchup. We all kinds, there were all kinds of stops. <laughs> all kinds of stuff, but. Okay, Giants partners all weekend long. Ace. Oils all weekend long. The homestand. Warriors tomorrow. They take on the Houston Rockets. Tip bomb at 440 tip. And then shots. Tonight, 6 p.m. Power Trump and tomorrow as well. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Thanks to a good friend on stuff. We'll see you on mon Monday next week. Until then, if you love the 2021 Barry and Sports, Show us what we'll see you again very soon. Bye everyone. Talk to you then. Until then. If you love Twitter One Bear and Sports, see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the, the draft round two. And third is tomorrow. Round two is today. Round three is tomorrow. Goodbye. See ya.